Snowball sampling is a method of selecting participants for research, where initial subjects help to recruit additional participants by referring people they know. This technique is often used when it's difficult to find participants through other methods, such as when the population being studied is small or hard to reach. The snowball effect comes into play as each new participant brings in more people, making the sample grow over time. Now let's look at some examples. Imagine a researcher studying individuals who engage in extreme sports, like skydiving or base jumping. Because these people might not be easy to find through advertisements or public recruitment, the researcher could begin by interviewing one extreme sports athlete. This participant could then introduce the researcher to other people in their community, allowing the sample to grow. Another example could involve studying people with a rare medical condition. The researcher might start with a few patients they know, and those patients could then refer others with the same condition. As the patients recommend more individuals, the researcher builds a larger sample group, gaining access to a population that might otherwise be hard to reach. Both examples show how snowball sampling can be effective when researching specialised or hard-to-reach groups, as participants themselves help the researcher find more subjects. Now let's look at some strengths of snowball sampling. One major advantage is that it allows researchers to reach hidden or hard-to-find populations, such as people who belong to niche groups or those who may not trust outsiders. Snowball sampling can also save time because participants help recruit others, speeding up the process of finding subjects. Another strength is that it builds trust among participants, as people are more likely to take part if they are referred by someone they know and trust. However, snowball sampling is not without its criticisms. One criticism is that it can lead to biased samples, as participants are likely to refer people who are similar to themselves in some way, which might not accurately represent the larger population. Another issue is that the sample size can be limited if the network of people doesn't expand enough, leaving the researcher with fewer participants than they need. Additionally, snowball sampling can sometimes overrepresent certain subgroups, leading to skewed results. For a detailed written introduction to snowball sampling, see my article in the pinned comment. To learn about other research methods, check out the videos on the screen.